Assalamu alaikum. Hi viewers, how are you? I hope you are all fit and fine. Uh, I'm Dimrana from Government College of Botanics. I have been teaching English for the last 12 years, right? We offer online English language courses, IELTS even level, IELTS academic and IELTS general, right? Uh, if you want to be a fluent speaker, if you want to be a eloquent speaker, if you want to speak English with ease and rapidity, do subscribe my channel and have a wonderful stuff on this uh, channel got it uh, students often come to us and they ask uh, sir despite having a lot of efforts they are unable to speak english right when we ask them how do they learn english they simply share sir we learn a lot of words and just uh, when it comes to speaking they are unable to speak got it okay today uh, we are, i'm here to share very productive and practical tips for all of you fine let's get started the first tip that's very important and it's really very useful as well right you if you work on it it will really work right okay we need to translate situations what did i say the very first thing i said we need to translate situations what does it mean for example uh if i talk about a lecturer or uh, you can say a teacher right who teaches chemistry or physics while standing in the class he's very fluent right if he talks about his subject for example he's talking about covalent bond he would say the mutual sharing of electrons between two atoms right is called covalent bond right he's very fluent while speaking in the, on the same pattern when it comes to ionic bond the com complete transfer of electrons from one atom to another is called ionic bond fine the uh, donor right bear the partial positive and the receiver bears partial negative charge like that but but when the the same person when talks to someone right he feels stuck right he can't speak english with confidence like that the words don't support him the same is the case with the, you can say a person who teaches physics or biology or something else like that right okay let's talk about cricket match right uh, let's talk about uh, commentary fine we learn a lot of words while watching cricket match for example when we just watch a match we just see we know what is long off long on the you can say delivery as a good delivery we know a leg before wicket lbw in caught behind like that is a wonderful shot this went like a rocket at the gone miles across the boundary six or four like that right this is how we speak the reason is we translated situations we worked on it right but when it comes to speaking for example just there is a situation you are in a restaurant and you're going to place an order you fall short of words you think that how should i say here we need to learn phrases clauses and sentences regarding uh, you can say restaurant you are sitting there you feel really hungry you, you should think that i'm really hungry over here i just want to eat a lot right i just do we should just place we just uh, we, we must ask for something very special today it's a sumptuous treat it's a wonderful treat like that right so all the sentences uh, how should i pay the bill you should pay the bill like that right regarding paying bills right whatever you are doing while sitting environment infrastructure you must be having all the phrases close to transfer their situations the same is the case you are traveling you know all the stuff regarding traveling fine when you talk about your childhood you just you must know that that this is a wonderful period of childhood right it's uh it's, it's about all innocence right when there is no worry no fever and fret of life over there so this is how when the things things you can just seem like a heaven fine so this is when you talk about the situations right you just stay there you learn you come across a lot of new words new phrases sometimes you feel stuck and when you feel stuck you think of it you ask your teacher your language mentor find your language teacher right and he guides you can search in google you can uh, you can look up this the word in dictionary as well so things get clear this way got it so today's very productive and practical tip is if you want to learn english with ease with with flow right with decent rapidity if you want to be a wonderful speaker auditor presenter then don't miss the tip i'm just sharing right now the first thing is fluency and fluency comes while translating situations we don't translate situations 
We just know how to introduce ourselves because we introduce ourselves a lot of times. I'm the runner from Gum College of Texting, right? My last qualification is MPhil English Literature. We just say my hobbies are listening to music, my hobby is just uh, reading books and like that, right? You do such stuff. But when it comes to just talk about democracy, let's talk about the present condition of Pakistan, right? The load sharing energy crisis, unemployment like that. Uh, we feel stuck because we never ever translate that situations. So in our courses, we offer all the topics, right? Might be childhood, restaurant, your first day at college, right? Your you can your hometown, your home, your parents. Fine. When you're depressed, how would you translate yourself? And when you're really feel ecstatic, you must be having a lot of words for your to ex, to express the situation as well. So these are the things that you need to do. Okay, let's make it more simple. Fine. So how can we translate the situations? How can we find topic? If you ask this question, let's go for a solution now. For example, uh, we should go from easy to difficult. All right. Let's talk about some uh, very simple things today. And when it comes to speaking, don't go for high flown words. You don't need some uh, Shakespearean diction while speaking. Just talk about simple words that I'm here. I'm talking to you guys. I really feel ecstatic. I really feel fresh today because Sunday is a fun day for me. All right. I really feel jovial, joking, jocular on cloud nine in the seventh sky, right over the moon. I feel ecstatic, excited, thrilled, chill like that because it's Sunday. Fine. So this is what this is how you will speak right uh, describe the situations fine okay uh, i was talking about uh, go from uh, is it too difficult in uh, the first of all you must go for it fine for example first translate your situations the things you come across daily you must know their english for example you get up early in the morning right okay you make evolution you offer prayer Fine. You recite the Holy Quran. You go for a walk. When you go for a walk, what do you see over there? You see the birds chirp. You see the dewdrops on flowers and petals on grass. Right? It looks like pearls early in the morning. When you just see the beautiful landscapes, seascapes, you go to riverside. You look to canal sides. Right? And you see a lot of things. You really feel fresh. Like right? it's like an outlet. You find a diversion over there, distraction, right? You find a recreation entertainment when you go to such places. So this is how these words that I am saying it comes when you go to these places and you translate. You want to tr and you try to translate everything into English. Fine, okay. So first of all, you need to translate your situation, your, your routine from dawn to dusk, from morning to evening. And then you come back. You go for your breakfast. What do you take of? What do you take? in break, breakfast find the uh, pronunciation is breakfast not breakfast right okay for example you can say right i love to uh, i love to have two slices of bread with omelette like that with a cup of tea right you whatever you do right and after that what do you do you go to your place of job right you go to your school or college like that so these are the things you keep on telling what about your office right of your school if your housewife like talk about your routine or what kind of duties you are shouldering like you sweep dust the house you do the dishes fine right you teach your children right you pre prepare breakfast for your kids as well whatever the condition is whatever your job is try to translate each and everything into english fine okay jobs is there you're just translating then you come back you go for your lunch right and talk about your lunch right that after that then what do you do after lunch you must tell all right to yourself fine okay after lunch what do you do you go to uh, you take some rest might be you have a short nap 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 get thing like uh, uh, you can see when you sleep for a short time, Kalula, right? You know that, right? And you just enjoy it, it gives you therapy, it gives you, uh, you can say, energy to work, to, 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 to get involved in physical activity again. For example, you go to ground in the evening and you love to play in the ground. What, what happens in the ground? A lot of things are there to translate, right? The children are running, the boys and very energetic athletes are there, and you get involved, your body sweat. You really enjoy each and every moment of uh, of the game, whatever you are in, you are playing. Fine. Talk about when you come back at home and you go for your dinner as well. You go for your and what do you take in dinner, right? Yeah, I don't take 
much things in uh, many things in dinner for example you should say uh, I, I just uh, I will I just go for some glass of milk and I just go for porridge I like simply fruit or whatever you want to do right it's up to you then you go for sleeping before going to bed how do you spend your time right this is how you will go and translate your situation your routine first of all fine now the last thing I gonna share with you people English learning English learning is a uh, fun it's not like boring school work you do right the way we feel stressed right when it comes to homework at school or you just maybe your syllabus English learning make it a fun and you must discover how is it a fun right if you don't know it's fun if you don't take it as a fun you can't learn because really it says English English teacher I'm saying right as an English student as well right I love to learn right I want to be student for the whole of my life fine okay and we stay student for the whole of our lives okay now I'm talking about right here how can we make it as a fun so English learning is a fun how right for example in in yourself when you're just talking about yourself it's just really boring exhausting you feel tired you feel irritated even when it comes to your homework but when it comes to your uh, you can say English learning you don't want to you don't want you don't want to read and you must go for videos right just go to the YouTube and just listen to different videos and you think that it's not really boring to listen to lectures to, to see teachers right you want to just have some uh, fun at that time just stay in your taste satisfy your taste and temperament right and simply go for music right you can just download lyrics fine and just listen to your music right go to or you can say English movies go to reading like that whatever your mood is translate your mood so English learning becomes a great fun all of you right so I do believe that learning language is very interesting, is a very enjoyable activity, right? First, and, and there is a, you can say, psycho, uh, psychological research as well. The bilingual, multilingual stay happier than, than monolingual. Then you a lot of languages, you know a lot of cultures, right? You know about diversity of cultures, various cultures, and you love to stay over there in that culture, right? Okay, so have you got it? When you want to learn English, you must make it fun because go. you must develop your taste for new words and you must know how to use that word in a sentence. You must know the grammatical status of the word like that, right? a bit academic uh, when it comes to academic English fine but if you are just simply you want to just speak informal colloquial state language no need to go for the grammatical state simple listen cram and start speaking got it there are some people who think that they don't have a language gene they think that they don't have a language talent it's simply there's a self it's like yes, you can say they they are in you it's they they just indulge in just uh, for nothing fine they simply come they should come out of that you can say frustration because things are really very easy got it simply uh, that they should go for these tactics and tips that I shared with you people and you would find yourself very fluent right you you would find yourself really a confident right impressive appealing captivating enchanting speaker and presenter got it just simply follow these lines and things a miracle would happen i do believe because i just observed in my students that who come to me and they learn and they start speaking and they love themselves you know that when you uh, when you come uh, when you go for some effective you can say when you go for some effective tactics and tips you really you really feel successful and there is no motivation like uh, you can say when you feel yourself successful these you can say short success fine uh, a small success I want to say the so I start speaking I can translate the situations this is a real motivation fine achieve things daily right go ahead step by step just go to the new horizons of speaking of uh, oration like and things would be wonderful over there and you would start loving yourself got it that's all about today's tips i think you got that and don't uh, forget to subscribe my channels and press the bell 
button you know, that, that is over there and uh, you can approach me through whatsapp whatsapp numbers as it, it is given in the, in the description below right you can approach me through social media like you can say or facebook or through you can call me on my number as i'm sharing in the description and thank you very much for staying with me and get ready for new videos i'm gonna i'm going to share very use, useful stuff for all of you right thank you very much for staying with me allah hafiz thank you